Hello, my name is Shitlia. Welcome back for another episode of Hardware 3 Black Eyes uh, as PRC. So, in previous episode, we decided to, or we started the war against shang and we did blitz through the territories quite quickly. Uh, we now have um, a lot of combats in the east, or uh, near Beijing and all that. So hopefully we can uh, win these combats, it's not guaranteed, mind you. There's a good chance that we will probably do uh, at least deal a lot of damage, if not win these. Actually, this one should probably head in here. Because I've got a plan. What I can do is I can then use this division to clear out the enemy militia, at least push them on the other side of the river, and protect the flank a little bit further. But hopefully we can get some help from here. Onto Heng Shui. No, not move. I want you to support attack. Did lose the digging boulders there because of that, but that's all right. It happens. Actually, I'm going to use the second core to go to Rinki to uh, clear out the pocket there. At least for now, because it doesn't need to be holding any front lines directly. So it can just do small tasks like that quite easily. Oh, Barding is under attack. Okay. Oh. AGN is... Uh, okay. Well, that's a division that we beat up already once. And it didn't actually join in the combat quite yet either. Speaking of which, I think we are going to start uh, gathering up some troops. Actually, who's going to be getting this one? We've got the HQ over there. We've got one HQ over there already. I'm going to strengthen this one. Yeah, we'll hopefully have a decent bit of victories in here soon enough. If we can take this one, clear out the enemy pocket there, and then start pushing further in. They have brought in a lot of troops over here, so we might not succeed initially. But that's one of the reasons why the war is going to be twofold, or like two stage in here. First, it's going to be the initial stage, us versus uh, Republic of China. And later on, it's going to be the free for all civil war. Uh, so that is going to allow us to start pushing further regardless. But whether we'll have enough of the then strength and... Um, troops and all the well, like if we can make it all the way to Nanjing or not in that time it's not guaranteed but it's possibility at least they don't have that much troops in here yet so there's a chance that we might be able to utilize oh veteran unit H oh sure we'll take that so we've got a veteran division HQ I guess what we'll do is we'll send it down this way uh you know what we'll just move it in there for now that will help some uh, defenses there. We are going to be winning the combat against the customs police. Oh, there we go. That's a victory. We've got some reinforcements in here. And I think this one could actually go ahead and start attacking Hejian. There's two units in there. One of them is in combat currently. Okay, Beijing uh, attacking us in uh, Yunjing is still ongoing. All the troops from Beijing attacking us is still ongoing. Once the reinforcements arrive in here and start digging in, I, well, I want to, them to have at least one day of digging bonus in there. Ah, that's the recon cavalry. Right, so this is going to go, go go to the troops that we already have strengthened to some degree, especially with the logistics units. Provide them with some more, a little bit more combat stats. It's not actually that much bonus, is there? Oh, right, we lost the northwesternmost province. Uh, but it does give a bit of um, defensiveness and toughness. Softness is increased, so that means that the division is going to take high damage from soft attack. Um, but I think it's mostly fine. It does uh, give a bit of suppression. Soft attack is increased by 5, and a bit of heart attack. Tiny bit of air attack as well, actually. Combat weight is slow or slightly increased, but it's not too much. And it does improve the... Well, actually, it reduces amphibious attack and defense. Uh, four attack is uh, slightly better. Urban attack and movement are better. And many other things. Some of it is not good. But it's in there perhaps. But uh, that's alright. Ooh, we're still getting pretty hefty cattle in there. But at least the defense in um, bounding is going to be going according to plan, I hope. I'm guessing the enemy over here is losing a lot of troops. Um, You know what? I'm going to try to get in here. At least you cut the enemy off uh, from sending more troops in these pockets. Even though that probably won't be able to hold on to it. Let's be honest. We can now go ahead and clear out the enemy militia up here. Shouldn't take too long to defeat that. And the HQ is slowly moving in. Oh. And we got some more wagons. Okay, so this one's going to go to... Up here, I think. Although this one doesn't need to be moving it around right now. But it's just a bit more combined arms bonus there. Ooh, we're taking so much casualties in here that we might have to retreat from this combat. Let the units uh, get reinforced for a little while. 
At least we're dealing some damage over there, so at least the defense over here is going to be mostly fine. One way or the other, we will hopefully win this. Uh, let's go ahead and give um, another wagon regiment. I think we're going to give it over there. This one's going to get the veteran HQ soon enough anyway. Oh, there we go. We've got victory at Lejeune, at least. I don't think that one's actually going to be a victory. But this one's at least going to be. How much do we need reinforcements? We need a one... Oh, I see. Or oh, industrial capacity. We've got quite a bit of supply production, actually, right now. Now, to be fair, we do need a decent bit. I'm going to reduce that to 7 IC total. A bit more reinforcements. The officer ratio is down to 109% now. So, I mean, we've gotten a lot of new regiments recently. That's about a large portion of it. Soon this will be in here. That's going to be tomorrow in the evening. Okay. Well, even in London time. So, it's technically speaking, going to be during the night for us. As soon as we win this combat, we're going to stop the... Oh, and we got... Okay, let's stop that attack. We're not going to get across the river quite yet, then. We've got one at least up here. So we've been stopped a little bit in here. And it's not looking as good as I was hoping for. I did a bit of a test run and I got a, a lot more stuff in there. But uh, at the same time, if we can destroy a lot of these enemy units in here, one way or the other, then we'll be in a lot better situation already. Because these troops will... Well, let's see. There's at least five light infantry divisions. Plus some contracts and all that sort of. they got some more troops in here that will probably be train soon enough, which could cause a bit of an issue. The fact that we've got this uh, city as well does help. Oh, there we go, victory of Barding. So how about you just uh, dig in there? I'm going to stop that attack for the time being. We might get a counterattack now, or they might start retreating some of the troops. That's also a possibility. Definitely need more reinforcements. It looks like the attack from Beijing is about to... Sh well, it's going to give up soon enough. It might... Mm, no, it's not going to shatter. It's not going to go below a certain point in... Uh, Strength there, usually it's around 40% or lower, where there's a chance for the unit to shatter. But right now, it's not going to go that far. It will be losing all its organization, though. I suppose one of the things that I could do... Well, once this one's reinforced, and this one's reinforced, and ready to attack again. We could use these three proper units in here to clear out the enemy in Hejian. And then surround these two, and at least destroy those two. And then also try to get across the river here and cut off any more reinforcers heading to Beijing and Tianjin. Oh, there we go. Great victory. And Yunjing, we lost 550 men, they lost 4,600. They lost about 50% of their troops there. So that's a pretty decent uh, combat for us. Bit more reinforcement in the meanwhile. So we've got the... Hmm. It'll be a bit tricky to get through here. Not impossible, but I suppose once we strengthen some of these units, we can then maybe get across the river one way or the other. We might have to conquer Lindru first, and then we could take uh, Luoyang, and then start pushing down here as well. They don't have too much troops in here, but they do have some troops there, which are admittedly aren't necessarily the worst units that one might face. Okay, is this uh, ready? Uh, probably not. I'm going to pull this. Well, actually, it can stay there for now. They do have the three units in here. As soon as this one's ready to attack again, We'll go ahead and start attacking to Hejian. Hopefully push the enemy out of there. And everyone else is going to be digging in, most likely. Oh, there we go. Now it's ready. So we've well, we got 3,000 men in here. So this is not going to be ready for a long combat, necessarily. But with three divisions, one of the enemy units already pretty low on organization. I think we can push them out fairly quickly. Well, relatively quickly. They do get the minus 12% envelopment penalty in there. So that gives them a bit of uh, reduction in there. And I suppose the the l unit with less organization didn't have any dig in there because it was moving away. So that is actually kind of a useful situation for us in that regard. They don't have any armor in there yet. But I think that the first anti-tank gun is going to be put into the unit in the city. Oh, there's the German tra troops now. Oh boy. It took them a while to arrive anyway, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to be rough. They're not necessarily that strong, but they do have some tanks in there. Which is why we need to get the anti-tank guns in as soon as possible. We'll get the first one tomorrow. But I'm hoping that we can cut off these troops at least. On the other hand, what I suppose I could do... Give one of the anti-tank guns uh, to one of the divisions currently in combat. Like, for example, the first uh, division. 
It will give them a bit more combined arts bonus, and of course it increases the, especially the heart attack a little bit, although that won't really have much of an impact. But overall, I think it's still, actually, what does it give directly? So a bit of defensiveness does give it a slightly, uh, or slightly more toughness. It reduces the softness of the units, or the average softness, I reckon, at least a little bit. Um, it does give us a sm small amount of soft attack. It does give a decent bit of hard attack. And piercing attack 20. And it does give a better... Or some modifiers that might be better on the attack here. Although attacking into planes, so it probably won't have much of an impact. But there we go. We are dealing pretty good damage on this. And we might be able to cut them off there. And after that, it's uh, probably time to start pushing in some of these further. But one way or the other, we are going to get victory in there. Oh, Yunqing is under attack. Well, it's attack across the reverse, so they're not really dealing any damage there yet. They got one of the armored, uh, oh, yeah, the armored units heading to the west. So we might need to get some anti-tank guns for some of these. Maybe one of the anti-tank guns is going to be put in there, just to provide some defensiveness against potentially an enemy attack. Now, to be fair, the terrain will help us a little bit in there, but it's only hills, so it's not impossible for them to break through there. I'm hoping that it's at least a possibility for us to hold them back. We're also going to start getting some of the artillery next month. That'll be very handy. So there we go. We are hopefully getting through this in due time. And we've already taken about, I don't know, one quarter of the way. Or like we've moved one quarter of the way into the province. There's a whole lot of troops moving in here though. So if they get, well, they won't be able to redeploy directly in there. But they might be moving into Beijing. Of course, if we can keep the enemy up here. How much is the VPs in Beijing? Five and one point in Tianjin. Okay, so that's six points. It'll be a little bit difficult. But I suppose if we can get them, or rather, if we can get to... Oh, no, that's actually, actually quite a large portion of it. If we do have a look at the surrender process, it's only 7% right now. So we'll need a lot of the provinces. But I suppose if we can get them sort of uh, stuck on the other side, of, or over here in Tianjin and all that, we can slowly let them take some provinces, we cut them off, destroy them, and rinse and repeat, and thus uh, destroy a lot of those enemy units. Pretty much completely. But they are getting close. They're getting dangerously close. Oh, they are now retreating at least. Some of those, okay, so some of them are moving north. Some of them are trying to move in here, but of course they redeploy through here. So it'll take some time for them to actually get to this province. Oh, there we go. We won. I didn't actually check the... I was about to click on a unit in here and accidentally click the pop-up away. Uh, but now we're going to get some more reinforcements going. That'll be very handy. Oh, they got another unit in there. That is a... That's not too bad. We can give a support attack from here, at least. The unit over here is probably going to have to re recover some strength, so we're not going to send that one in. I think they're actually moving a lot of the troops now down south, so they're not going to keep everything in here. They did get at least one of the armored units there for a brief moment. And now we need uh, a bit less reinforcements and upgrades. I suppose it's a lot of units that are currently still in combat. That we're getting that stuff. That are no longer doing so. But we're taking pretty hefty casualties in here. We've got still 400 manpower to spare. Mind you. But it's not going to last forever. When do we get the next set of anti-tank guns? Uh, at the end of the month we'll get one. And in April we'll get another one. Uh, right at the start of the month. Oh, there we go. That contract unit is not going to last for very long. And we did take uh, most of the... Or we, we're still a little bit more advancing that we need to do to get there. Oh, there we go. That's a victory. At least the communist militia over here has dug in quite well. There's a whole lot of troops in here now, though. So that is uh, concerning, to say the least. Uh, I suppose you need to rest for a little bit longer. You've gotten some more reinforcement in the meanwhile. So we'll also switch around who's going to be giving support attack for this combat. But once gone stripped at a time, we are going to push them back. And we're almost there. Basically, after this combat, if they don't get more troops in there... Uh, like uh, during this combat, and then we will have that province. At least for a brief moment. Oh, there's the AT Regiment. Uh, right, so I'm going to put this one up here for the... Is it the 9th Division? Yes. That one. So we've got some anti-tank guns in here, protecting the flank. We kind of need that one. And then tomorrow we'll get another anti-tank gun, which could be put into maybe the unit over here. Or the one over there. Or this one. There's a lot of options. Or maybe we'll just strengthen this one. And there's the auto save. And there's also the anti-tank gun. So we'll go ahead and assign it under the... Probably the division in Nangdong. Or Nangdong, sorry. There we go. So that's uh, going to be strengthening the combat in here. A slight or small amount. 
And there we go. The enemy is losing organization very rapidly during daytime. There we go. That's got to be done very shortly. And are we there yet? Almost. Ooh, ground force uh, focus station one. So build time is reduced in land and armor, but it is... Uh, well, actually, it's not increased in air or anything like that yet. We get a bit less money, but we've got one manpower. Oh, they got another one in there. Okay, how long until you can send... Okay, 20 hours. Increase the reinforcements until then. Because this one's going to have to wait another 80 hours to join into combat. Well, they're desperately trying to send in contrips over here to blank the gap, but that's not going to work for them, I reckon. And just 10 hours and we can send in more reinforcements into this combat. And even though we're just the one Mountaineer Division, we're still dealing pretty good damage on them. They got more manpower, perhaps, in the combat, but that's not going to save them. Oh, well, there we go. Now they're retreating. And that is ours. There we go. Now they're attacking pretty much everywhere. This is actually fine by me, because that means... Uh, they are moving the enemy units away from the mountains. And this one can start digging in already. Oh, Hegean is under attack. Nungong is under attack. Well, if that one's already attacking us, so we can send in some troops over here to give a bit of support attack from that. Oh, well, they're sending the uh, German trained uh, armor in there. Or armored troops, anyway. Into the combat. We're going to also start getting some artillery soon enough. Give a bit of support attack from here. Get the envelopment penalty over here in the pocket. I suppose another thing that I could do is I could attack with these. It's going to be a bit risky. We'll keep the troops in Shimon. If we can take that one. Oh, they are retreating down. Oh, brilliant. In that case, you move down there. We'll clear out the mountains and then we'll have all of them in one pocket there. The counterattack across the river is not going all that well for the enemy. There's the artillery regiment now, so we'll put in one in the 9th uh, division. And then we'll put the extra one in uh, Woogie with the U regiment. There we go, so there's some artillery already. Now, to be fair, those are not in active combat now, but we want to have some proper troops in here so that once we start fighting, or once they start doing some counterattacks in there, we can at least do something about it. Now, how long until we've taken this uh, province? That is um, 9th of April. Ah, oh, so to volunteers. Well, that's handy. We could increase the officer recruitment for a brief moment in here. Put in like two and a half leadership in there, so we'll get quite a bit more. It won't slow down the research too much. It's only going to be like a week or so that we get the bonus for. So mid-April we'll uh, switch it back if we remember. Which is not a guaranteed outcome, admittedly. But there's a good chance that we'll at least destroy these two infantry divisions. Plus we did destroy one of the militia police units over here. They've got still quite a bit of troops in here though, so it's not going to be an easy victory in here by any means. I'm kind of hoping that, uh, well, actually, what we could probably do. When do we get another anti-tank gun? It's end of May. Okay, so that's going to take a while then. The engineers we're going to start getting in June. But I guess what we could do is attack over here into Chongqian. The enemy's probably dug in fairly well, though, so it's probably not going to go all that well. So what I'm thinking, actually, is uh, we'll stop the attack now. It's a bit of a probing attack. They'll do a counter-attack in which we'll win them or defeat them. And, oh, that might also retreat. Hmm... Tempting. Could use a bit more reinforcements, a bit less upgrades. We're going to get some more wagon regiments soon. Our troops over here are going to be holding the enemy back across the river quite nicely, I reckon. That one's going to be a victory shortly. And there we go, we've taken that. Let's go ahead and attack in here from another direction. So they got the minus 50% from the encirclement and now another envelopment penalty. Once we get a troop into Barding, that's also going to be another envelopment penalty there. We could probably go ahead and send in this militia somewhere. I'm going to send it down south to Zhengzhou, so we can start using this infantry division over here to clear out some of the enemy. And start pushing it, or carving a bit of an area over here at least. I don't know if that militia will be enough to hold the city though, but uh, it can probably hold on for a little while, especially once we get the full digging bonus there. Oh, and we got the wagon regiments. So actually, I'm going to give one for here. So that one will be needing it at some point in the not too distant future. And then that one could get another one as well. Or that could also... So this is the second Yuntuan. I'm pretty sure that the enemy over here will be destroyed. So they'll lose two infantry divisions. 
And fairly good ones at that. That'll be rather handy. Go ahead and get that. So we're getting slowly more and more in there. Ah, ah there we go. We've arrived. Well, let's get a support attack from yet another direction. That is now 36 percent penalty from the envelope. So different directions that we're attacking from. And thus uh, that reduces their damage and defense. That'll already be quite handy. Wait, so less than 100% for their defense, and we've got a fairly good attack modifier, especially on the Mountaineer Division. Not so much on the others, perhaps, but it's uh, not the worst. Looks like the Mountaineer across, along the river in uh, Hejian is still holding on. Oh, Nandong is under attack, but oh, that was a lot of troops there. Luckily, the Infantry Division is digging in there, has dug in for 10 days, and it's got the anti-tank gun, so anything uh, armor trying to cross the river is going to have some hard time there. And there is another Division HQ. Uh, that one doesn't have... Well, that one already has one. We could probably get one for this one. But that one's now got the Division HQ at least. They got some troops moving in through here. But the idea is that we'll utilize this one to push into Linru. Hopefully. And then we're going to use the help of that... Oh, Nandong is under again. Another Light Infantry Division. It's got the road crossing penalty, but it's not quite as bad as it could be. But the enemy over here is starting to lose some troops already. And I think this one's going to be a victory short, short, surely enough. Or shortly enough. But yeah, taking Linru, and then uh, Luoyang, and then Sungxiang, and maybe all the way to Lingbao. And then we can maybe start uh, pushing in further to other directions. But at least we've got the um, bridgehead in here right now. That'll be very handy. Oh, there we go. That's a victory. Get a bit more reinforcements now. And this one, well, that battle is still ongoing. They've got quite a bit of troops in here, so I don't think we'll be able to cut them off over there anytime soon. Oh, they're sending another contra unit into this combat. It might take a while for them to actually get into the thick of it, but that's all right. In the meanwhile, we're clearing out a pocket in here that's still 9.1 organization and uh, dropping on the first unit there. And the second one doesn't have the digging bonus. So it, once we actually start dealing damage to it, it's usually the damage is being dealt to the, or majority of the damage is being dealt to the first unit on the list. To give you a bit of an idea. So we will be destroying that one first, and it uh, will be destroyed properly because it's going to lose organization of a pocket and thus surrender. Whereas if it uses uh, or loses strength too quickly and it shatters, then it will, or will, it will return eventually, but it will be uh, quite a while before it's... Uh, in combat uh, shape again. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got two days of digging bonus already in there. I think it might be time to do a bit of an attack into Lindru. There's only a Contrib Division defending that. It's only hills, so it's not going to be too bad for infantry to deal with that. It looks like the first of the enemy units in the pocket in Hengshu is uh, probably going to get sorted out soon enough. The Communist Militia might get pushed out of the combat in here, but at least the enemy is also taking pretty hefty casualties in there. Alright, there we go. So the first one's going to be surrendering right about now. And then the second one will go down a decent bit faster, actually. Because it doesn't have the digging bonus. There we go. So now that's going to be losing, during daytime, about 0.4 to 0.5 organization per hour. So it's still going to take, like, probably closer to a week to push through there. But it is possible, at least. And how's the attack into Lindru? We are dealing some damage, at least. And it looks like the militia over here is... Uh, it's got six days of digging bonus already. Remove the reinforcements a little bit. I suppose most of the divisions that need the reinforcements are not available. Or rather, are currently busy, so they won't be able to reinforce. Or upgrade, for that matter. Right, so we've got one division HQ. I guess we could put it in there. The second Yunjuan is now slightly better. Well, there we go. Puyang is under attack. Well, was under attack briefly. Of course, it's gotten a lot of new units in there, and those are not full strength yet. So the average organization is a bit less. It won't have an impact on the digging bonus, though. So that's we've still got the pretty much as good defenses in there as we can. Plus, with the division HQ, we actually deal a lot more damage to the enemy. Right, the Communist Militia is going to have to retreat from there soon enough. I think the Infantry Division itself is going to be able to hold on for a while. But I'm going to pull back the Communist Militia already. Just to be in the safe side. And the enemy over here in the pocket is down to 40 organization. So that is going down. We're not going to get any more troops uh, during this month by the looks of it. 
But sooner or, or sooner or later we'll get some more. And it looks like the battle in Lindru is going quite according to plan. Eight days of digging bonus already in there. We'll take Lindru. Then we can use that. Uh, oh, this infantry gives support attack, and these two militias can push across the river. Then, with the help of the division in here, we'll probably move one of these to help defend Lindru. And then the infantry division can uh, help push the enemy out of Shengjian. And we'll take that. That's Mountain Province, mind you, so that's going to be a little bit harder for them to retake them. But since they are doing... Oh, okay, there we go. We're under attack in the city, but we did win that. They didn't really do too much damage. That to be fair, actually, what I could do... Hmm. I could use this one to attack into Shengjian, and we can attack across the river from here. And then once we cut them off there, that one's going to get surrounded and destroyed, hopefully. Okay, so now we are still under attack quite heavily in here, but we're slowly dealing the damage in there. And the pocket is going to be soon cleared out. I suppose what we can do with the Mountaineer Division after that is move it into Hejian, clear out the enemies in Tongjian, and then maybe cut across the river. It's going to be a bit tricky, but once we get some of the um, engineers, it's probably going to be more doable. The enemy is now turned to 12.4 organization, so it's going down in a matter of a few days, by the end of the month most likely. And I suppose uh, there's not that many units in here yet, so let's give a support attack. I'm also going to attack across the river. And we will be able to clear out the enemy there relatively easily, I reckon. As soon as the infantry division joins into the combat, that is. It might take a little while. Okay, down to 7.6, 7.4. About 7 organization there now, so... It's not going to be too bad. The defenses in Nangong are still mostly holding. Same with Yungjing. I think uh, we might need to send in the communist militia back there at some point. We'll probably give it a bit of a reinforcements as well. There we go. So now we should be dealing a lot of damage. Now, admittedly, the militia that we're sending in there is also taking a bit of damage. But the enemy is taking more and they don't... Oh, they got one of the light infantry divisions in there. Okay, in that case, we'll stop this attack for the time being. They're going to try to do a counter attack in Lindru. But I think they'll be noticing that it's not going to be quite as easy. Oh, another major victory. So this was the battle in Hengshu. We lost 1,700, almost 1,800 men, but they did lose 9,000 men in the combat. And they lost total 18,000 men because both of those divisions were destroyed. There we go. That's something. Remove this one to help defend in Yunjing. And I suppose the mountain is going to push through here, help defend there. This one should be a fairly easy victory now. And I suppose what we could do is we could send this one over here into Liangzheng. I wonder if we could cut them off over here. I push across the river at least to Pingjing. And then get to Jinan and cut them off uh, along the river here. So at least they would have a lot of troops in there. And then slowly but surely we could probably try to destroy them. Like maybe try to cut them across the, or cut across the river here somewhere. That one's got an armor unit in there, so that's not going to be an option right now. Right, looks like the counterattack over here is not going according to plan. Which is according to my plan. Ooh, armor factory in Taiwan. And resource production, yes, we will take that one. Uh, but with that, we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.